Okay, so reviewing double slit interference. Um, an interference phenomenon is a phenomenon related to the wave nature of light or to the wave nature of anything. So you only see interference if you think of the, uh, you know, what's doing the interfering as a wave. And that's because a wave has some oscillation in space. There is some amplitude variation in space. And if I have two waves encounter one another, those amplitudes at any given point in space add up. Okay? So in particular, they can add up constructively and create a bright spot for light, or they can cancel each other out and create a dark spot. So we went over the conditions for constructive and destructive interference. Okay, and for this particular uh, setup, what we have is uh, two slits. Okay, we haven't talked about the width of the slit yet. We've talked about the separation of the slits. So I have two slits, have some separation D. I have a screen that is some distance away. And on that screen, I get this pattern of bright and dark fringes. This pattern of fringes, it's called uh, an interference pattern. And for the double slit in particular, the location of those fringes is determined by the separation between the slits. Okay? And it depends also on which one of these um, fringes you're looking at. So M is the number, it's called the order of the fringes. So M equals 0 is the 0th order fringe, M equals 1 is the first order fringe, and so on. So for constructive interference, when you get the waves adding up and giving you bright light, okay, the condition is that the angle at which the fringes form have this relationship, such that the slit separation D times the sine of the angle theta, theta sub m, m is a subscript indicating the order of the fringe. So theta m is the angle that locates the nth order fringe. Okay? So m can be 1, it can be 2. So if I'm talking about the first order fringe, I would say this is 1, and I would replace 1 in here. And it's telling you that the path length locating the first fringe is such that the two waves are exactly separate. The distance between the two waves is exactly one wavelength. For the second order fr uh, fringe, the distance traveled by the two waves is exactly two wavelengths. Okay, So M is telling you something about the um, length path length difference between the waves traveling from one to the other. So the important thing for interference is if two waves that are in phase Okay, that it has started together, if their path length difference is an integer times the wavelength, then they will interfere constructively. If the path length difference is a half integer times the wavelength, that means they are exactly shifted by half a wavelength. So destructive interference means that the waves are meeting such that one wave looks like this and the other wave looks like this. And so when you add them up, you get something that is flat, cancelled out. Okay? And once again, you can do this for m equals um, plus or minus 1, 2, etc.